fiat is the elites can print money. Crypto is everyone can print money. And Bitcoin is no one can print money. What is Bitcoin? Bitcoin is an agreement on a fixed set of rules. So it allows human beings to interact with one another completely consensually and voluntarily by running a mathematical formula in the back of their heads. And we use computers to help us do the calculations. But at its core, Bitcoin is really a part of us and, uh, and the computers are just fancy abacuses. So Bitcoin is a promise of a different life. And I know that that's kind of a, like a touchy-feely answer, I guess, to it. But that's really what it is, right? You're in a system right now where you are, you have little control, um, little to no control over um, what the government is going to do with the money, what the monetary policy is going to be. Um, you can't make decisions based on something that you don't know. And so, like, I think that often people think of Bitcoin and they're like, well, it's hyper volatile. How can people make decisions based on Bitcoin? Maybe the price is hyper volatile and maybe that will change in the future. Right. Um, and that's yet to be seen. But the monetary policy is not right. The monetary policy is known and unchangeable. And when that is true, when you know the future of your money just based on that, then you can make decisions that are appropriate for your financial situation. Bitcoin is a technical innovation, actually an invention or a discovery, maybe is a different way of saying it. And, and the, what is it? The discovery is the notion of quote unquote, provable digital scarcity. So if you think of things that are digital, like, you know, files on your computer or sound bites or, you know, um, I don't know, sound, songs or whatever, you know, everything digital, photograph, everything digital is copyable. You make a million copies of something digital, you just push, you know, copy. But what if you had something that was digital that couldn't be copied, that you knew how many there were, you knew where they were, you knew that you couldn't, you know, there was no way to falsify one and you could send it and transfer it to anybody anywhere. You know, in a sense, what if you had a quote unquote digital form of, of a gold like thing where the stock to flow was very low? In fact, ultimately, the stock to flow would become, you know, infinite because there, there'll be no flow at some point when we get to the last coin being mined. And you knew it was provable, you knew it was immutable, and you could see it. You know, everyone, anyone could audit it and see it at, at any point in time. Well, that's what Bitcoin is. Bitcoin is a journey, it's not a destination. You go through these uh, understandings of why Bitcoin is so important, what a beautiful technology it is, why the fiat system, and that's where I come at things, why the fiat system is nothing more than an inflating credit bubble that uh, has to go on forever, which means your fiat dollar will be debased with 100% certainty. What is Bitcoin? Bitcoin is the only form of property that can be held by every human on Earth, regardless of property rights. What is Bitcoin? What is Bitcoin? <laughs> I would say Bitcoin is, you know, a peer-to-peer -peer decentralized ledger technology that allows units of value to be transferred between users in an extremely secure way. And it's all under underlied by energy. And since energy is something tied to the physical world, it forces the actual security to be tied to physical hash, hash rate and, and power as well. I think asking the question, what is Bitcoin in 2024, is a lot like asking the question, what is the internet in 1997? You know, everyone had heard of it. Um, not many people were using it. There was a lot of hype. There was a lot of skepticism. And Bitcoin will be just as um, important and and uh, and part of our daily lives in you know 20 years just like the internet it eventually became what is bitcoin at a high level bitcoin is the greatest invention in human history it's so much more than digital money it's so much more than you know it's just the first money in human history that can't be controlled by anyone can't be printed and uh, can't be controlled or shut down not a, not even a nuclear bomb can you know stop bitcoin so I think that's very interesting. We've never created anything scarce online before Bitcoin. 
So I think it's not only a monetary uh, revolution and marvel, but it is also a computer science revolution and marvel. It is the greatest thing that humans have ever discovered. Bitcoin is money and money is not an investment. It's not like a stock or a bond. There's no yield. There's no rights that are conferred by owning Bitcoin other than the ownership of the Bitcoin itself. And the point of money is to take the value that you create with your time and store it to use it later. And if you're trying to do that with dollars, you're going to have a bad time because as you are attempting to store your value, the government's just printing more dollars. And so, you know, we leads to inflation like we're seeing right now. And so Bitcoin is better pretty simply because the government can't print more.